You're probably asking why I did it. Let's find out. Keys, Andy Lippy here. Bit of a weird start to this video just because I just wanted to showcase how crazy this is. Yes, I just uninstalled Voice Meter. We all use Voice Meter to, to control stream levels, so basically we can have a different headphone mix to what's been on stream. But Excel Drove just smashed it out of the park. Here is a plugin that is created called Audio Monitor. It's available right now, so it's available on the OBS website. And this basically is going to allow us to monitor anything inside of OBS. And you're probably thinking, yeah, but you've got audio monitoring already. Well, this will allow you to choose the output device. Let's just get it downloaded, get it installed. Just hit the download button, as you can see, just up here. Click on that. You can choose what version you want. It does work on Mac OS as well. So it is for Windows and Mac. So you can use the Windows installer or whatever. It's completely up to you what platform you are using. If it is Windows, I would recommend using the installer because it's just so much easier to install a plugin. You just press install, done, boom, happy days. Let's look at OBS now. You will have to restart OBS if you have kind of, um, if you've got it open already, otherwise it won't show up. So, this is my OBS just here, it's blank, I've just got one scene, as you can see I've got one source, which is my media source, it's playing some music, you guys can't hear it at all, because uh, I've not got it sent through to you guys right now, but the stream would be able to hear that now, they'd be able to hear exactly what's going on. So... As you know, if you press the little settings button and go to advanced audio properties, you have got audio monitoring on there and you can turn that on. But that only sends it to the output that, that you've used for monitoring. So maybe that is your headphone mix or something like that. Well, this one, this new plugin, if I press on the cog now, this is anything with audio. So any media source, any um, microphone audio, anything like that, anything with audio, this can be added to. We go to filters. Go to audio video filters, just uh, press the plus sign, and you'll see audio monitor, which is so hype. Press on that, and as you see, audio monitor, and straight away, I can choose the device that I want to send it through to. So, if we have a little look at the drop-down menu, I would still recommend using voice meter cables and stuff like that, because then you've got more um, cables to route audio through uh, wherever you want it to be. Uh, it's really good for splitting the audio. So now, if I choose cable B, which I've got set up to go to you guys in this video recording, you'll hear some music now. So, as you can tell, I, I can change the volume levels. So that's turning it down for you guys, but as you can see, the, the stream is still hearing that full sound. So I can have a completely different headphone mix to what you guys are hearing. So say if you're playing a game or something like that and you just need to concentrate, but you want the stream to still have some music on, background music, uh, rather than just listening to the game. So it just adds a bit of ambience. You can turn it down or even off for you, which is awesome. So you can still kind of keep a track on your stream and it's so simple to do. The, there are a couple of ideas that I've thrown to Excel Drow for that. I mean, that's pretty Pretty much all there is to the plugin but it's so powerful no need to use voice meter or anything like that no third party software it's all inside of obs i am working on some stuff with this plugin uh using different things like bq bar and uh Lior and board and stuff like that that hopefully is going to blow you away so make sure you are subscribed because i'm going to literally just revolutionize the way that you stream and make it so you've got all this advanced software um and without the expensive hardware okay just just bear that in mind. Get subscribed. Uh, but that's pretty much all there is to it. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below or let me know in the Discord. Again, these videos take me a little while to create, so if you want to support me, jump over at Patreon. Links are all in the description. And if you want me to cover anything, let me know, okay? Put your rock with a stone. I'll see you in the next one. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys, and also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.